In our last video, we found out the differences between asset and liability. But in the second part we are going to learn about the assets of rich people and liabilities of poor people. This is the summary of Rich Dad Poor Dad book by Robert Kiyosaki. Rich Dad Poor Dad tells the story of a boy with two fathers, one rich, one poor, to help. You develop the mindset and financial knowledge you need to build a life of wealth and freedom. What is financial literacy? The simple definition of financial literacy means figuring out the differences between assets and liabilities. Why should financial literacy be taught in schools? Financial literacy classes teach students the basics of money management, budgeting, saving, debt, investing, and giving. That knowledge lays a foundation for students to build strong money habits early on and avoid many of the mistakes that lead to lifelong money struggles. Why schools don't teach anything about money? Working on from the last point, teachers are older than the students. Since they've been taught through the old education system, they too have no idea about personal finance, and therefore don't feel capable of teaching it themselves. That is why most of us face financial problems. When the school fails to teach financial literacy, the responsibility falls to the parents. However, parents are often reluctant to talk to their children about their finances, especially if they have debt or haven't always made the best financial decision. In the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, author states that Rich people acquire assets, but others acquire liabilities they only think are assets, and that financial struggle often comes from a lifetime of working for someone else. Most people work for money, but the rich make money work for them, and that it's not how much money you make it's how much you keep. But the difference between rich people and everyone else is that the rich don't stay in the job phase for very long. They realize early that to become rich, they need to become the people who hire others into jobs, and not a job holder. By contrast, the rest of us typically spend our lives in the job phase. One of the major misconceptions so many have about rich people is that they all inherited their money. But that belief set is completely self-defeating. Look at anyone who is a self-made millionaire, and there's an outstanding chance he or she spent most of their life acquiring assets that generate income. But even while a house can build value over time, it's not an income-generating asset. Quite the opposite, it costs you money to keep it. It's really not an investment until and unless you sell it, take your cash, and invest it in something that will produce income. But middle class people put their money on liabilities like the car, bank debt, mortgage debt, money owed to suppliers, wages owed, taxes owed, credit card bills, electronic gadgets, etc. When it comes to investment, poor and middle class fear to put their put on income generating assets. A lack of knowledge is a major reason why many people do not invest. The world of money and finance can be a confusing and daunting one. Instead of I'm no good with money think I need to learn money management techniques. When it comes to cash flow, poor people put all their money on expenditure and don't even think about savings. Middle class people save some money in banks and put remaining on liabilities and expenditures. But rich people invest their large amount of money on income generating assets and put less amount of money on expenditures. This is the reason why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. To read the full version of the book for free get the free subscription of Audible by Amazon. There is a link in the description box. You can listen to many audiobooks and gain huge knowledge. Do not forget to enjoy the free offer. If you like my content then please subscribe to our channel and share this video.